A whopping 66% of Americans are either overweight or obese. Most have tried every diet imaginable. High-protein diets, liquid diets, even the Subway sandwich diet. How are we doing? It's a fight most of us are losing miserably. Statistics show only 5% of dieters drop the weight and keep it off, while 95% fail. I think that the failure rate is actually higher. I think it's more like 97, 98%. I think Jared <laughs> is an anomaly. Who's Jared? Jared's the guy from Subway. So what do we do? More and more people are turning to bariatric or weight loss surgery and learning about it at community right. seminars like this one given by Dr. Jeremy Corman, a national expert in the field. It's exciting for me to, to offer some hope to people who have struggled for, for years, uh, possibly longer. Dr. Corman is the director of the LA Bariatrics at Marina Del Rey Hospital in California. It's received the prestigious designation as a center of excellence by the American Society for Bariatric Surgery. Dr. Corman gives guests valuable information about gastric bypass and lap band surgeries based on the latest research. This was a 15-year study only on gastric bypass patients. It followed 66,000 patients, compared gastric bypass patients versus non-surgical patients who are obese, and the patients who had surgery had a 33% lower death rate in that 15-year period. The cause of death in obese patients is typically heart disease brought on by diabetes, high blood pressure, and high cholesterol, all of which the surgery and resulting weight loss dramatically reduces or eliminates. Another cause of death, surprisingly, cancer. Obese people have a higher risk for developing many different types of cancers. And if they do develop those cancers, they have, a, they have poorer outcomes. One of the most common questions at Dr. Corman's seminars, what's the difference between gastric bypass and lap band surgery and which one is best? Well, it depends on the person, their health, their age, and how much weight they need to lose. For gastric bypass... Now, they relax the criteria for people who not only have a body mass index greater than 35, but also have some associated medical conditions. That criteria, established by the National Institutes of Health, correlates roughly to being 100 pounds overweight. For the less invasive lap band surgery? What we've done in general is we have relaxed the criteria for the band surgery to having a body mass index greater than 30, and that roughly is equivalent, roughly, to being about 50 pounds overweight. But that the, the figure of weight is much less accurate than the body mass index. Dr. Corman is accompanied on stage by his high-profile patient KFI radio personality Bill Handel, who had gastric bypass surgery four and a half years ago. Starting weight? 300 pounds. I'd have a McDonald's brought into the station and I could go through six sausage McMuffins before we started handle on the news in the morning between five and six o'clock. Half a dozen without blinking and then I'd have breakfast after that. <laughs> you can either stay fat or you can do the only thing that actually works that scientifically really honest to God works and that's the bariatric surgery and that's it. So, what's life like after surgery? People think that your life's gonna change, it's gonna be fantastic. I got news for you. If you're fat and you're not getting laid, all you're gonna do is be skinny and not get laid. <laughs> but when it came time to select the right surgeon, Bill says that was no laughing matter. There are a handful of surgeons out there who know precisely what they're doing, Jeremy being one of them. And I looked, by the way, as my wife said, uh, we went from surgeon to surgeon and she walked out saying, if you're gonna do this, Bill, this is the guy that's gonna do it for you. And he did. Bill is now 100 pounds lighter. Another of Dr. Corman's many success stories is Robert Marlboro, not a celebrity, just an average guy who had had enough. He gladly shares his story with seminar guests of what life was like at 402 pounds. The everyday waking up, am I going to die at work? Am I going to have a heart attack at work? You know, that's what I thought on a daily basis. Robert had lap band surgery two years ago and lost an amazing 140 pounds, most of it in the first year. I don't even remember that guy. It's like I've been born again. Every patient who undergoes bariatric surgery must understand the risks, including the risk of dying. 
Some put the figure for gastric bypass at 1 in 200. Others say it's only 1 in 1,000. I think the risk really falls somewhere about 1 in 400 or so. Okay. Anybody here have gallbladder surgery? Okay. Did your surgeons probably in a millisecond said you could die from surgery, but did they say anything about that? Okay. You know what your risk of surgery was? About 1 in 250. Dr. Corman, Bill, and Robert answered every question at the seminar ranging from pregnancy and proper nutrition after surgery to cost and consuming alcohol. Uh, oh, you, one drink equivalent to at least three. Half a glass of wine, you are on the table with your clothes on, <laughs> dancing at the restaurant. Besides the humor and the hope offered here, guests also receive the answers to personal questions answers that can give them the tools they need to finally win the toughest battle of their lives.